Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to share with you 10 awesome ways to clean your bathroom with vinegar. Literally, you can clean everything in your bathroom with vinegar. If you hate the smell of vinegar, stay until the end because I'm going to show you some alternative ways to using vinegar that is also more natural. First and foremost, we are going to lift the lid right here. Look down in here. My toilet tank is looking so good. You can clean this with just a little bit of vinegar. I did an entire video on this. If I mention anything, I will list those videos in the description box below if you want to watch those. But you want to put a little bit of vinegar in here, not long, because you don't want to have the uh, acidity erode the gaskets or seals here. I would say about 15 minutes or so. Come back. Sometimes you may have to do just a tiny bit of scrubbing around the end, but you want to make sure that this is cleaned out every few months or so because it impacts what's happening down in here. I have to show you all something here super quick. This is not vinegar related. This is a flush and sparkle. You guys, I have not cleaned my toilet in over a week. I kid you not, and this is my kid's bathroom, and normally I would have to clean this every single day. Here's a fun little hack for you as well. If you have some hard water stains that are really stuck on here, like you're gonna see some, you guys see that right there, just get yourself a bottle of straight up vinegar like this. You're gonna spray it on. Let me open it up here for a second. You're gonna spray it on. For really, really hard water, what I would do is take some paper towel or some uh, old kitchen towels that you have cut up here. I'm gonna show you here in a second. And you can let them sit on there. This will help keep everything in place. See right there? These are just old kitchen towels that I have cut up. Again, you can do this with paper towel if you wanna be a little more environmentally friendly. You're gonna do this. And then you could spray. You could completely saturate the rag in the vinegar if you want to, whatever you want. We're gonna leave this here for about 15, 20 minutes or so. We're gonna come back and we'll check those spots. Clogged drains, bathtub drain, whatever you name it. This one gets clogged a lot because I get ready here. Got some baking soda. Let's just put a little vinegar down there. The chemical reaction creates carbon dioxide gas which will help loosen up the acidity of any clogs in your drain. I'm gonna let that work its way, maybe about 10, 15 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna run some hot water and then your drain should be running much more smooth. If you have musty or smelly towels, what I recommend is using vinegar. I would say about a half a cup to a cup as your fabric softener. You can put it right in your fabric softener dispenser or you can put, just put it directly in your laundry when you're washing it. But this will help freshen up any towels. Just a little vinegar breaks up any gunk and stuff that's housed here in the towels. That acidity does wonders. Besides e cloths this concoction right here is one of my favorite ways to clean your window. Now you can just use equal parts distilled water if you have it and water. Now I buy this the Dollar Tree. It's already pre-mixed for me. When this is all done, actually, I'm going to make my own concoction of window cleaner and multi-surface cleaner. But guys, look at this mirror right here. It works awesome. The smell dissipates pretty quickly, in my opinion. But if you don't like the smell of vinegar, vinegar I'm going to show you a couple tricks here at the end that I also like to do just to freshen things up a little bit more. Now, if you cannot get the streaks out of your mirror, let's say you have stuff on your microfiber towels, which I have run into before, um, e-cloths will definitely help get up any gunk that the vinegar is not picking up. But vinegar is definitely my go-to when it comes to having a streak-free mirror. Your nasty, disgusting toilet brush. I usually will use vinegar, straight up vinegar, or rubbing alcohol to clean these out after I'm done using it. Just let it sit and evaporate. The smells will be gone and it will help kill any bacteria housed in there. All right, let's see here. You guys, I haven't even scrubbed anything either. Look at that. Perfection. Let's talk about the Miracle Shower Cleaner. I absolutely love it. However, if you have brushed nickel like this, it ain't gonna do anything for you. This brushed nickel stuff is the bane of my existence. So we're just letting these toys air out here. I have four kids if you're brand new here. But what I like to often do is you can get this from the Dollar Tree. This is so easy. You fill this up with equal parts. Um, water, vinegar, and then as much Dawn dish soap as you want. I would say like a good tablespoon. I have it already pre-made in here. I ran out of it in here because I use it so often, but it's so easy to clean your bathtub. I also love this brush right here. You can use this in your shower, your shoes. It's super bendable flexible. Basically, you can get any nook and cranny that you want to with this brush. So that's why I like this and I like this. So the combination of these two things are absolutely amazing. This is is just like pure love. If you have it pre-med up in here, you just need to scrub it around, rinse your tub out with your cup, or if you have a detachable nose uh, uh, nozzle <laughs> on your shower. But if you have it in the spray bottle like this, I spray it all around my tub. Then I'll take my brush right here, and again, 
This is awesome for scrubbing, getting all that disgustingness down here in the drain, and then I'll just rinse it out with my cup. This is probably the best hack of them all. I mean, just to clean your toilet, you guys. If you have really bad hard water stains, I would spray this on your toilet, let it sit, come back, spray a little bit more. Sometimes what people do have done, and I've done this in a previous video, is they'll take toilet paper and shove it up under the rim to add a, a sort of like an adhesive to keep the vinegar right directly on the hard water stains, but you can just take a spray bottle that's straight up vinegar right there and use it as a toilet bowl cleaner. Not only will this help eliminate smells, but it will also sanitize. Um, keep it on the surface. The longer you keep it on the surface, the more disinfecting power that it can have. But this is excellent for just your everyday toilet bowl cleaner. Now, for cleaning your dirty sink, you can use your straight up vinegar concoction, straight up vinegar right here, or for an extra boost, you can use your Miracle Shower slash multi-surface cleaner right here. I love this. I love both of them. They work, I think they work equally great. Um, again, this brush is awesome. I like how it gets a little bit sudsy if you're going to use your um, miracle shower cleaner, so to speak, as a multi-surface cleaner. And this just gets in all those nooks and crannies right here. And you can use this on your surface as well. If I'm cleaning just the top right here, I'll often just opt for half water and half vinegar. And voila, not only do we have a nice shiny sink, but we have a nice clean drain. Okay, I got a lot of favorites. This might be my third. <laughs> Let me know which one is your favorite. So this is just straight up vinegar. Take a cotton ball. You don't have to use the cotton ball, but I like the cotton ball because it's a little bit abrasive. And this is an area of a lot of gunk and sticky fingers. So I like to go around here at least once a week or as part of my regular cleaning routine and wipe these down. Um, you'd be amazed at how much yuckiness is on there. I'd hate to see with like a microscope. And last but not least, how to add a little pizzazz to your vinegar or a nice vinegar alternative. So I often like to use, I'm really loving eucalyptus and lavender right now. I like to put these in whatever spray bottle that I'm using. So this is kind of a, this is a fairly reasonable size for a multi-surface cleaner or a toilet cleaner that you can put in a cleaning caddy. So I usually use half water, half vinegar, and then probably about 10 to 20 drops of my favorite essential oils. If you don't like essential oils, just take half a lemon, squeeze it on in there and give it, it gives it a nice citrus scent and I love that and this is acidic so this is extra cleaning power as well now if you do not like vinegar I absolutely love the citric acid this is linked below it says replaces lemon juice and people use this for canning now if I'm gonna use this in place of vinegar let's say a spray bottle about this size I would probably put I don't know like a tablespoon of this in there mixed with water swish it around get it all nice and dissolved in there and that should do the trick. Now this smells awesome as well. I love this. I cleaned the back of my entire toilet tank with this and it did remarkably well. I did not have to even scrub one iota. So this is another alternative for you. All right, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it out with somebody else that loves fun cleaning hacks as well. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you my friend in the next one.